everyone. This is New Wave with uh, my name is Mike and I'm from Belgium. It's nice to meet you. Hello everyone. This is New Wave with Sun. My name is Jennifer and I'm from Germany. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And always hiding down here. You don't want to say hi? Huh? I think he wants to say hi. A little bit. <laughs> you can see him like a Thank little you. tiny bit. So cute. Huh? Why What's don't we let him here? say hi dun, 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 dun. to our viewers? <laughs> How have hi. you been, guys? My dog, huh? Oh. Who are you? Gigi? He's Korean. He's Korean? From Korea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Although he's I have handsome? to say, his, his race, Pomeranian. Uh -huh. Originally, it's from Germany too. Oh, so it is! I didn't know that. Yeah, there was. It used to be like an area in Germany that's called Pomerania, and that's where Pomeranians come from. <gasps> Did you research that, the or is it just you know, common knowledge? You know, I knew it uh, when I adopted him, <laughs> and then I learned about the story. <laughs> oh. That's so interesting. But, But he's such yeah. a handsome and cute boy, don't you think, guys? Do you guys have a dog? Good. Or are you more like a cat person? <laughs> oh, well. I think some people have dogs, some people have cats, mm -hmm. like a mixed a mixture. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are we gonna do today? Which is so excited, huh? Yes. Okay. Why? Let me tell you a fun fact, guys. Mm -hmm. So did you know that Korea has hosted two recognized exhibitions so far? Yes, one in Dijon in 1993. Yes, and the second one in Yosu in 2012. Wow, and definitely the one in 2012 in Yosu, it drew a lot of excitement and attention because they used existing breakwaters and islands to construct an exhibition space in the shape of an O, a big O. Big and that o. was the name, Big O. And it was as big as 13 soccer fields. Big O, Big O. It reminds me of Big Ben. Big, big Ben? ben? No. Big Ben. Big, big ben. ben. Big Bang also. The Big ben. Bang. And the Big Ben. The Big Ben. In England. In right? London. Yes. In London. I should know that because I lived in London. Yes. Yeah, you should big know ben. that, Jennifer. Yeah, so Big O. Why Big O? Because the theme of the Yosu Expo was the living ocean and coast. Ooh. Yeah, so the four made it even more interesting. So living ocean, I guess the O stands for ocean, like big ocean. It might be possible. Big, large ocean. Yes, if you think about it that way, I think this might be a reason why they call it big O. But Jennifer, it seems like you know a lot about this topic. Yeah, we've been doing this for a while now, guys. Oh, okay. It's coming to an end. <laughs> no. It's our last month, guys, November. It's so sad. Yes. Yeah, but yeah, I've been studying the history of the World Expo. That's why. Well, let me ask you a different question then. It might be a little bit random, but I really wanted to know. Random question? Yes. Do you know what a potato and a carrot looks like? Of course. I, I guess so, yeah. Are there multiple versions of it? <laughs> well, how about drawing a potato and a carrot? I, I love drawing, but I usually draw more abstract, but I guess I can draw you can? some shapes of whatever fruit you want me to draw, <laughs> or veggie. <laughs> yes, yeah. I think you can also draw it in an abstract way. Are we drawing? I just, yes, I have some colors in here that I want to show. Okay, and guys. I have also some books, sketchbooks Carrots that we can use. And, and what do you, guys? Any, any idea, huh? Carrots? Carrots and potatoes. potatoes. Why am I asking this weird question? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> you, you can are open? You yeah. Bye. 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 loves carrots too, and potatoes. So and veggies. It, it might Big be, veggie fan. It might be better that he's not here or he will eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> Okay. But for now we are drawing. Okay. Potatoes Someone and carrots. Someone already drawn something in here. Yes, Wait. we have. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> is it Pikachu? <laughs> Someone drew a Pikachu in here. <laughs> an angry Pikachu. Yeah, isn't it cute? Okay. We use this sketchbook okay. quite a while. So, so here we go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to draw a potato first. Maybe you can draw a carrot first. A carrot. I can. I can yes. Yeah, orange. Carrot. Ding, ding, a baked ding, potato ding, because we love and green. Oh, are we also drawing details? Usually, 
We are? Carrots have a green leaf on top. I oh, wait. Carrots are orange. Okay. Right? And a potato. Potatoes are usually brown. Uh, kind of like a round give the shape, orange. I would say. A round shape? More or less round. Yeah, like potato round. And then the green. Mm -hmm. I Over think here, I'm are you finished? Guys, what do you think? <laughs> Which one is yeah. the best? <laughs> is it clear? I mean, this is clearly a carrot. This is my carrot what and my yours? potato. <laughs> do you like it? <laughs> oh, why are you laughing again? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a massive potato. <laughs> it's a big potato. I, I mean, know. you would get more for your money if you. Yes, I like, like big potatoes. Guys, which one would you buy? <laughs> yeah, is the look of the veggie important to you guys when you pick out veggies? Well, Jennifer, do we really have would to draw you buy? it? Would you buy mine or, mm. or, or hers? If you draw it this way, do you really have to do it this way in order for it to be a vegetable? <laughs> That's a massive carrot. <laughs> yeah, it is. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on, guys. Many say Jen, Jennifer. Yeah. Oh, thank you, guys. What about mine, guys? Isn't it good? Jen. Mm -hmm. So many would choose this one. Jennifer's. Because yes. it looks better. Because it looks more pretty, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Would you also choose yours? If you can choose between mine and yours, would you choose Personally, yours? Personally, I mean, of course, this looks better, but overall, I wouldn't care. You wouldn't as really long care as the about it. Taste good. You know? um, yeah, the price is right. <laughs> but that's actually what I wanted to show. The point is that also our viewers, they would rather choose Jennifer's. Why? Because it looks more appealing. Appealing. Pretty. Because it looks more pretty. It looks more clean. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to discuss mm -hmm. food refurb. Mm -hmm. Food refurb. Mm -hmm. Have you heard that before, guys? It Food is a refurb. subject that was discussed on the Wave platform, which we introduced in the Wave Busan once. We did mm -hmm. a whole episode about it. It's been a while, though. Mm -hmm. um, it's a digital pet platform created to discuss global challenges for the World Expo 2030 Busan. Yes, and like this, the Korean government is not only focusing on the Expo 2030 Busan, as a one-time event, but they also see it to solve the global environmental and climate issues in the long term. Mm -hmm. really, are we finished drawing? Yes, we're we'll like finished this. drawing. Let's put it here. Yes. Okay, we're gonna get out the real <laughs> <in> a, <second. laughs> a bit later. Food reverb, uh, yeah, emerged to criticize the wasteful consumption of uh, yeah farm produce yeah that is just deemed ugly and therefore not sold not used that's so yeah? sad and apparently it's said that about 1.3 billion tons of such produce wow. uh, is, is not uh, yeah sold yeah it has no commercial value because it's like ugly and people don't want to buy it guys 1.3 billion tons that's crazy. Of perfectly fine food mm. like that you can eat, but it's considered like ugly shape or so. Yes, yeah, these fruits and vegetables actually have a perfect, perfect <laughs> nutritional value. Mm. They also have a perfect taste. So it's such a shame that they are thrown away, right? And also this leads to the emission of an enormous amount of methane gas. Methane gas, yes. yeah. But various countries have presented different solutions to this. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah, for example. One of the countries was France. In 2014, there was a supermarket chain called Intermarché, and they led a successful campaign to sell imperfect produce by using humorous posters with slogans just like, the ugly carrot in a soup, who cares? Exactly. Who the cares? Ugly, yeah, I mean, once you cut it and put it into something like a soup. You don't see that no it was sees ugly. How it looked like before. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> what do you guys yeah, think? Yeah, so France case has been a key player in starting the food refurb um, mm -hmm. yeah, trend, I guess. And a similar uh, trend in Korea is when a, a company purchased 30 tons of imperfect potatoes, potatoes. from Gangneung, which is an area in Korea, mm -hmm. uh, during a broadcast. And people watched it and, and saw it. And this company, they purchased those uh, imperfect uh, potatoes during the broadcast and then sold them and uh, it inspired people also to buy more imperfect veggies. It increased sales. Yes, and in that way also the interest in food refurb has skyrocketed within Korea, Korea. as well. Mm -hmm. 
And also today we're going to make special dishes using the ugly foods. So please look forward to that. Can I show my favorite <laughs> one, guys? The hearty potato. I mean, isn't that adorable? It's so cute. This is even cute. Like who doesn't want a heart shaped potato? <laughs> I want every potato to look like yeah, that, honestly. We should I have drawn that it. one. This is way cuter than the regular shaped one. I don't mind this. So I agree. Cute. I yeah. agree. Who wants a heart shaped potato? <laughs> That's so cute. It's so cute. I know, Adorable right? Adorable. Adorable. We think the same, yeah. honestly. Mm, okay. Well, but before we start, yeah, like every week, guys, don't forget our pop pop quiz. Yeah, pop where you can win a $20 Amazon gift card. So take part in that. Our mm -hmm. quiz uh, about the World Expo. Mm? Yes, yeah. I like that. Yeah. But, guys, did you also know that I these like, days. I like that. I like that, like that. <laughs> There's a lot of websites where you can buy these ugly vegetables and fruits and the fruits and vegetables that we bought today come from one of these websites. Ah, guys, does it exist in your country? Like, I never heard of websites that do that. In Germany, mm -hmm. even like a couple of years ago, uh, many supermarkets had like sections mm -hmm. where they had uh, yeah, like imperfect veggies or so that mm -hmm. you could buy. So it was always like one section. Like a section? Where, yeah, and people could choose to go there and, and buy. Yeah, it was a thing. In England as well, when I lived in England. England has special like bio shops where they preferably actually sell imperfect fruits and veggies. Yes, I don't know if Belgium makes such a big distinction between imperfect and mm. perfect. Um, somebody saying veggie shaming. <laughs> veggie shaming, yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. Right <laughs> yeah, why are we veggie shaming? Oh, right, that's Vegetables <laughs> deserve a good life too. Yeah, no shaming here. I believe no shaming some local here. companies, oh, these vegetables and fruit, use these vegetable fruit and turn them into jam or soups. I mean, that's an option too. Yes. Because then, yeah, again, nobody if knows. It goes into something, mm. you don't know how it looks like. So. Mm -hmm. Even if it doesn't end up in the supermarket for the consumer, like those imperfect veggies, why not sell them to companies that produce jam or whatever? And Nobody then it doesn't will know. matter how it looks like anyway. Like, it's nobody so weird. Will know. Why do we waste so much veggies? Yeah, why don't we think about more important issues in the world than okay. the shape of vegetables? Well, anyway, shall we get ready and go shopping? Yes. Well, we have our veggies here, guys. <laughs> so, uh, before you go shopping, what do you take with you if you go to the supermarket? I actually don't take anything. I just take myself. <laughs> okay, that's most important. But then, how do you carry the veggies and so on? You need to be a little bit prepared because we want to reduce the, like, mm, the waste. True. Mm, the disposable waste, definitely. Mm -hmm. so, there, uh, there, you end up using a lot of disposable items, and these days in Korea, there's a trans zero waste campaign yeah, that uses reusable items to reduce this waste. So, uh -huh. how about we learn about it? Hmm? I mean, we yeah. can learn about it, but before that, I first want to mention what kind of food we're going to make. So, we're going to make mm -hmm. Korean style vegetable salad, Korea. right? Do you guys see the veggies here? Yeah, you can yes. see them. Yeah. So we're gonna do a vegetable salad and we're gonna do sweet potato slices. Yeah. My favorite. So that's what we're going to do, do later. Mm. But first, Jennifer, I think it's time we're for a pop with quiz. the veggies with the heart. One, two, three, pa 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 La 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 la. <laughs> Are you making small hearts? <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, so I was talking about the Recognized Expo before, and you know that there's a distinction between the Recognized Expo and the Registered Expo that we talked about before, right? And this is differentiated due to the amendment of the BIE Convention in 1988. But the question is when was the BIE officially formed? When was the BIE when, formed, guys? When exactly was the BIE formed? Let me check the comments. And many of the guys said shopping bag, tote bag, carry bag. Great guys, yes. We're gonna talk about yes. that later. <laughs> That's a secret. <laughs> Basket. Oh, guys, you oh, look so good. All right. I oh, think I we have a winner. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. We I have a winner. Yeah. Jealous jelly? Jealous jelly. Love yes, 
Jealousy. Congratulations. Jealousy. The answer was 1928. Yes, yeah. 1928. Enter your information in the Google form and then you can find it in the, in the comment section and then receive your price. Jealous Jelly. I like that in username, Jealous it's very Jelly. nice username. Okay. But now, now shall we learn? Okay. Because Jennifer, do you know when you go shopping, especially in Korea, there's a lot of products that are served within, wrapped within plastic mm. and also on styrofoam plates. Mm. So even if you want to buy one mushroom in a shop, you have two disposable items, right? Yeah, mm. so much waste. Why does there need to be a plastic around my one apple that I buy? I don't know. It's I also so wonder that. <laughs> yeah. So it feels like it's also our job to dispose of these wastes when we buy products wrapped in this kind of disposable items. So uh, you usually put the purchased items in the plastic bag, right? And so we recommend you what you already said here, guys. Shopping bag, tote bag, carry bag or basket. Or a basket. To take with you instead of buying a plastic bag. And it's actually not such a big of a hassle as people think because if you just think about bringing a tote bag or a basket and you just don't buy any plastic bags, it can actually save about 18.3 milliliters of crude oil and also reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 11.9 kilograms per person per year. Yes, and if just 10% of the Korean population participates we can reduce carbon dioxide emissions by okay, 61,617 tons annually. That's insane. That's a, number, yeah. That's a huge 61, number. Around 61,000 wow. tons. Yeah. By just yeah, taking a tote bag with you. By just you not buying just, a like, plastic bag. Wrap them together, put them in your you know, like pocket, and then when you're super Yeah, you can bring them, them out. out. Yeah, they don't even need much space, just tote bags. Or you get a really trendy, cool one with a cool style. Oh yeah, you have a lot of prints <laughs> on tote bags as well. Okay, but shall we begin Yes, cooking? all right, so uh, we don't need seasonings. Like we have some seasonings here, guys. We, we have some seasonings over yeah, here. Like mayo, which is, I was told, vegan mayo. <laughs> I think we're going fully vegan <laughs> today, guys. Sugar, so yeah, we didn't, don't need that for now, but the Korean style vegetable salad. Oh, oh, I'm curious about need? that. I would take a cucumber, I would take a carrot, and I would also take an apple maybe, because these are things that you can eat raw. Oh. And I think we should make that into our salad right now because we want to eat it right now, right? Yeah, and uh, to me, these look perfectly fine. And I think so too. These are the ones I actually always cheaper. buy. Yeah, they're cheaper. Yeah, they're and cheaper. Veggies in Korea are expensive. Mm, they are kind of. And, and fruits are expensive. So yeah, go for the but cheap. Really I don't nice. like. I, I don't care how they look like. <laughs> the price needs to be right. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. Okay, so yeah. shall we? Okay. Start mm -hmm. taking off the. Maybe start with the carrots. Okay, guys. There's also ways you can see if your fruits and vegetables are good like to eat do you guys know any tips like i know for the carrot it needs to have a small top that's what mm -hmm. i heard and it needs to be very orange so you can see that it has a lot of nutrients mm -hmm. and that it's very sweet I that's what i heard about carrots remember that they have this little how it's called pickles or so this and then it means it's fresh. It's fresh. It depends on the country. It's in Korea like that, but in Germany, the cucumbers are sleek. <laughs> yes, in Belgium yeah. as well. Like we don't have the and much bigger. pickles on it. And much bigger. And I bigger? Have to say, much bigger and browner. Yeah. I mean, it does make sense because here is a totally different climate, right? Yeah, it depends on the country as well. Like uh, different countries have different shaped veggies. Like I said, in, in, in Germany, cucumber yeah, are sleek and long and, and, and quite dark green and so they just look different. Oh, anyway. Dark green? Yeah. That's interesting. Okay, guys, can you tell us how to know if hmm. a vegetable or Looks, fruit is, is fresh, is good? Are you cutting? No. I will cut the carrots. Careful. Oh, careful. <laughs> Let's not make chop, any chop. accidents. We washed our hands before this, okay? <laughs> yes, we're making a vegetable salad. Yes, mm -hmm. a vegetable, mm -hmm. Korean style vegetable mm -hmm. salad. Mm -hmm. The shape Let me is take fine, I guess. More of yeah, the... it's fine. We're going to cut it anyway. You You're not going to see it, it anymore, like what it looks like. Carrot. It's a big knife. Priced 
and taste is always most important. Yes, Koreana says it right. <laughs> okay. You know, I used to get um, a tip from my previous boss when I worked in a restaurant. When you, it's about bread, though. When you cut bread, you have to think that it's a violin. So you have to cut like... <laughs> Thinner. That's thinner? a huge chunk. Oh, okay. Do you want do you want a double? Yeah, no, no, but thin slices, please. Yeah. Like this? Yeah, okay. that's okay. No, yeah, thinner. Ah. A huge chunk of <laughs> Yeah, it's good for your I I have to say oh. the color looks very orange. Yeah, so, yes, so I think it's very nutrients. yeah I nutritious love, and who sweet. Who else loves carrot juice? Like, do you like smoothies? Mm. With, I love it personally. I like yeah. soup with carrots, but I don't really ah, like carrot, carrot soup. I, I love a smoothie with like some kale and carrots, like a green smoothie or orange smoothie. Yeah. Oh, you like that? And you run, you, you run straight to the toilet after. That's great for flushing all the That's true. <laughs> stuff out. That's like, true. How's it called? Detoxing. <laughs> What about, guys, I have a question. What about tomato juice? Do you like tomato oh, juice? Oh, that's controversial. That's controversial, some love right? It, some hate it, yeah. I'm already tired. Do you tomato juice? <laughs> no. With salt sprinkled in it even? Uh, no, I don't really drink oh, it. Oh, carrot cake. Oh, yes. Carrot cake. It's interesting oh, that's how good. they can make a sweet cake out of like a vegetable, like a carrot, you know? Yeah, I love have it. to go faster. Ca carrot <laughs> mango juice. I never heard about that never one. Never tried that combination. I will try that. Tomato juice is just ketchup. Korean, that's it. <laughs> just drink ketchup. You don't have to drink tomato juice, guys. You just drink ketchup. I agree with Micah. Vegetables. Oh, vegetables to eat or hot soup. Oh, hot soup. Yes, hot soup. Okay, I think I'm finished. We should put it into this bowl over here, I think. Right? Let me take the bowl. <laughs> Don't eat our salad already, Jennifer. Mm. <laughs> we might have nothing left later. Trying the taste, and it tastes great. Okay, can I just do it with my hands? Mm, no, no. <laughs> have you not learned anything? <laughs> I thought you, you, you <laughs> worked in a restaurant. Guys, I've been a waitress for over 10 years. <laughs> I know how these things go. Okay. Ta-da! Ta Ta -da, ta -da. Ketchup is thicker. Mm. Mm. I prefer tomatoes when they add it to the sauce chili mixture. Chili. Okay, now we have cucumber. Jennifer, go ahead. I do the cucumber. You're the master chef, yes. Mm. Because if I have to do everything, we don't have enough time. Guys, like, do you like cucumbers? Because some, weirdly, I learned like, in Korea, I have so many friends that hate uh, cucumbers. Like they despise them. Like what? really, they cannot eat it. And I'm always surprised, like what? Why do you hate cucumbers so I much? think it's my favorite vegetable. Me too, I eat it's it like that so as a snack with hummus uh, dipping. So but if good. I say it, then many people are like disgusted. They're like, oh, how can you eat cucumber? Like pure what? and raw, oh my. I yeah. mean, it's the same with cilantro. Some people love cilantro, Somehow, some people don't love cucumber cilantro. Cucumber is a controversial veggie. I guess. Cucumber for a facial mask. Oh, oh or yes. You use it for beauty things. Yeah, not bad. Refreshes the really eyes. Nice. Mm. Cucumber for mask. But guys, have you so also tried water. eating cucumber or do you only put it on your face? Yeah, for the mask? that's what I mean. Do you like it? Or even, I like cucumber water. You know, where you slice some cucumber and you put it in fresh water, let it soak, and then mm -hmm. you have like a fresh wa water. Yeah, with a little bit of cucumber taste. I love broccoli. Oh, that's also a controversial one. Broccoli. Oh, broccoli. Yeah. Let me put this here so you can see. Oh my god, it's it looks super 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 moisty. Cucumber and it smells very fresh. Moist, yes. Yeah. I think the cucumber is gonna taste very delicious. It looks really good. Let me see. I love potatoes, carrots, cucumber, broccoli. Okay. Okay, I feel like our audience has a very similar taste. My dog loves cucumber. He's obsessed with it. He, like he, he loves do, it? He will do anything for it. 
<laughs> he gives his paw paw, he will lay down, he will play dead. Just he will play dead. That, <laughs> just that you give him one little slice of cucumber. So. <laughs> now he's also like looking at the board. He's watching us from and back there. Yeah. There's he's a water just, coming out of his mouth. Oh yeah, he's watching the cucumber. Just he's the drooling. Cucumber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see more. I really like green beans. Oh, Ooh, love those too. My cat sometimes eats spinach. Yeah, spinach. That's good. Cat? Then, Ooh. then does your cat become like really strong, like Popeye? I am Popeye. <laughs> Can you imagine? I, 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 <laughs> the super cat. I thought cats are a little bit more picky when, with what they eat than dogs. Yes, but I think once they have something they really like, my cat really likes pancakes. Ooh. They're addicted to I mean, pancakes. Can't blame her for that. Yeah, you cannot blame anyone okay. for And the bringing. apple too? Who does the apple? I, Do you know how to peel an apple for a frick? I guess I will try. Do, can you try it at once? Like at once? I can. You can? Yeah. Guys, do you know this technique? Oh, it's the first time I saw it. But guys, I heard that in Korea, many people, they hate cucumbers. So I was wondering if it's the same in your country. Like, do people generally hate cucumbers? Yeah, or? I've never heard this before, before I came to Korea. Like in Germany, cucumber is super popular veggie. Mm, but I don't know why they Korea, hate it here. <laughs> so, what's up with the cucumbers here? Okay, unfortunately, I couldn't make it in one, but... Oh, but you did well. Oh, Korea Net asks, Pancakes or waffles? Are you trying to give us a really, really hard question For right now? How pancakes. can we choose? For I me, it's both. In Europe, pancakes or crepe in France huh? mm, crepe, are yeah. most pop more popular. But in Korea, again, differences in Korea, I think waffles, waffles. are more popular. They are sold uh, as a street food, guys. There's so many yeah. waffle chains, waffle. franchises, mm -hmm. waffle restaurants. I was surprised when I saw many Koreans hate cucumbers. Yes, I, yeah. me too. Like, where does it come from? I don't understand. But I think they just are grown up with different types of tastes, mm. like the kimchi. So maybe they're not used to it. <laughs> I'm going to move the bowl a bit. There are oh, some people also fresh. who eat the inside, which is great for, you know, not wasting anything of the apple. But mm. I can't. No, I think it's... Maybe. Too crunchy, too yeah, crunchy. But I've seen people that just oh. eat the whole apple, which is... Okay, so no Nathan reason. asks, what do you like on your pancakes? That's a really good question. I love whipping cream and strawberries. What about you? Uh, chocolate banana. Chocolate banana? I'm a chocolate banana girl, yeah. And okay, strawberries so we're like mixed a... in, if, if we want, yeah. Chocolate banana. I also like savory oh. pancakes. Guys, is that a thing in your country? Savory pancakes. We do that in Germany too. Like, like what do you pancakes put? Pancakes with chives mixed into it. Really? Yeah. I think that might be different from... But in Korea, <laughs> there's this thing, chon, like kimchi chon or so. They do like kimchi pancakes. Oh yeah, so. yeah. these are really, really delicious. Mm -hmm. Those really are also delicious. savory pancakes. I also like to cut apples like that. I avoid the metal. Yes, I think many people, they avoid the middle when they cut apples. Yeah, just yeah. But if you eat the whole thing, it's good for no waste. You know? mm, zero no waste, waste that's true. We are making a zero waste salad. <laughs> Almost zero, zero, zero lay. Koreans often like dip cucumbers into some jam and eating K barbecue. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Koreans have a lot of pickled cucumbers. Right? The pickled cucumber Today. kimchi, that's what we talked about last time. Oh yeah, yeah. Because, because I like the cucumber kimchi more than the regular. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is my apples. Okay, and now we need mayonnaise. Five spoons of mayonnaise. We're gonna wing it, okay? We're gonna okay, you're it. gonna just think about five spoons. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Almost five spoons, guys, and half a spoon of sugar. Okay, also, just wing let's it. See how, how sweet. Oh, oh. I'm also not good at opening packages. Oh, I did it though. Okay, should I wing it with I the sugar? My sweet pot are we? Are we? Are we? No. Actually, the sweet potatoes we don't have to peel. So while you're doing this, we oh. are, we are, I'm doing this. Okay, do we like a lot of sugar? Actually, I don't think we need that much of sugar because you put a lot it's, of already, sugar in there. it's already delicious. I want to show you some 
sweet potato okay. chips. Yes, we're also gonna make sweet potato chips. So how you usually make it is you wash it, you cut it. We already washed it. Yes, then you put it into cold water for five minutes. For then the you, starch. Yes, yeah. then you take it out of the cold water, you dry it, and then you put it in the microwave for three minutes. Okay. And yeah. I'm gonna mix this one. Where's my water? We have a water bowl here. Yes, we have a water bowl here. here. For the starch. And oh, guys, suddenly we became a fast cooking potatoes. show. Oh. Sweet potatoes are so good. In winter, they are literally sold every, in every street corner in Korea. Like this delicious sweet potato, hot, yeah. Oh. Yeah, even in the, in the shops, right? In the shops, you can buy them. In the convenience store, you can buy them. You can buy them everywhere in Korea. Wow, this looks actually so good. Yeah, have you ever tried? Time I buy one almost every day. I have every day? Yeah, in the convenience store. Yeah, you can also easily just put them in the air fryer. Yeah, you can buy them in bulk online and then you can put them in the air fryer. Ooh, that looks delicious. That looks so good. I want to try, I want to try. Wait. Should okay. I show a close up of the salad? There you go, guys. Oh. Doesn't it look delicious? Here, please. Beautiful serving plate. Okay, Other you can take around, it out because please. you are a huh? more professional chef than me, I think. Oh. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. Does it look good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. should we try it? Some in, there. Mm -hmm. in the microwave? Yeah. Wait, I think we have to wait a bit too. Did you put it in the water? Yes. Oh, you're fast. Yeah, we don't have many time anymore for this. I want okay. to show some of them here. Okay, like while well, putting it in the microwave, why don't we How do... Long? Three minutes. Yeah, while they're in the microwave. Oh, we have something more for you guys. Oh, I don't think I can open the microwave. <laughs> it's stuck. The placement. <laughs> the placement is Producer a little... Producer didn't think this will. <laughs> I think it's stuck, guys. Oh, yeah, now it's good. Three minutes. Don't explode. Five minutes. Okay, don't explode. Thank you. Okay, shall we try it? How is it? Is it good? It looks good. I could even take more mayonnaise. Mmm! Mm. It's actually so good. Mm. Okay, so? We have something that we still need to do. Yes, are we Jennifer? dancing? We're dancing. We're dancing. One, two, three. Pa, 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 quiz time. Pa, 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 quiz time. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> All right, last September, Boogie. Boogie. Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Who both of you probably know, hopefully. Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. Baby Shark. <laughs> they went to three places in Eastern Europe mm -hmm. to shout for the World Expo 2030 um, to be brought to Busan. So, excluding Hungary and Austria, where is the other place? The third place. So, they've been to three places. One is Hungary, one is Austria. What is the other one? Boogie and Baby Shark. Baby, baby Shark. Do, 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 baby Shark. Do, 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 I think it's baby the most shark, viewed do, 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 video on YouTube. Really? Or, I think so, yeah. <gasps> really? I thought it was this guy dancing or something. This guy who's like, this is my first YouTube video, no? Did somebody see that one? <laughs> oh, I think we have a winner. The winner is... Oh. You know poo. You, you know Congratulations. You know you the know answer was Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Yes. Yeah. Please fill out the Google form in the comments to collect your prize. Congratulations. You know, you know. Yes. You know, Jennifer Boogie, he has been everywhere mm -hmm. to support the World Expo ah, Busan bid, right? Of course, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm finishing the salad while the sweet potatoes come out, hopefully soon. While well, the sweet potatoes come out. Mm. Also, I want to tell you guys that the issues that have been discussed here today about the discarded items are also discussed during the Expo 2030 Busan. So I've heard that the official blog for the Expo 2030 Busan is talking about various situations on this topic. Mm -hmm. I want to join the conversation. 
Yes, but I think Jennifer is better if you just watch the microwave and try the salad. <laughs> Not that okay. something and, explodes here. Yes. And meanwhile, I have another question for our audience. Oh. Yes, so everyone, when you were young, you played with toys, right? But did you know that many of the toys were also made of plastic? So the Expo 2030 Busan is address, addressing the tens of thousands of to toy waste yes, that are thrown away each year. So what do you think that should be done about this? I think we talked about this before, mm -hmm. about toys and what to do with them. What can we do with them? Uh, I think we can give them to people who need it. <laughs> People who also can use the toys, who cannot afford buying toys. Maybe we can make a system to give them to poor families with children. That's what I think. What do you guys think? You always have to think, yeah, the safety as well, obviously. Like when the toys have been used and are old. And ah, do you think it's a little bit dangerous mm -hmm. if others mm -hmm. use it? The safety, because especially children, mm. yeah. recycling, giveaways giveaways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I think that's what we did when I was younger. When I grew up, I would just give my toys to my nieces and cousins. Donate that's what it. we would do. Lego. Donate. Yeah, Lego. Lego is probably the worst culprit. Lego is everywhere. It's very popular. Yeah, and Lego keeps producing these days. They make like these huge theme parks and castles mm -hmm. and Recycling. donate to donate. poor children is a good idea too. Mm -hmm. Oh, me! I hear something. Let's see how it looks like. Oh, careful, it's probably hot. <gasps> probably hot. Wow. Can you touch it? Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Yes. It looks really good though. I think we have to... Do we need to put it more? Yeah, or? like we have some more time, right? Yeah, turn them around and put them one more minute. One more minute? Yeah. Okay, but let me use mm -hmm. uh, tissue because it's very hot. Mm. We don't want to burn ourselves. A sweet potato is a very good diet food <laughs> as well. Yes, if you're on a diet, this okay. is the show for you. Not that everyone has to, but... No, you don't have to. I love it. Okay. Yeah. Potato, potato. Yes, and if you eat two or something, you're already very full. Very full. And it has enough it's nutrients so as well. Yes, yes it has enough good. nutrients. Mm. <gasps> Which is your fork? This one, because oh, I've one? been eating. I want to eat more. You want to come again? Of the Get cucumbers. Yeah, I think Tucci want to try our... <laughs> <gasps> Do you know gratin? Get oh, I love gratin. You know what? Yes, I'm our guys. Where are you? Mm? Yes, if you're hungry, you can eat with us together. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want you to get too hungry because of us. He's coming. But I definitely yeah, recommend good. to try this green style vegetable salad. Just add some mayo and it makes oh. it so delicious. Oh. Mm. 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 He's just watching now. <laughs> Please give me one bite. Okay. He will eat everything will give. from us. Mm. Yes. Do you like the ASMR, guys? <laughs> Here is one bite for you. Can you hear it? The carrots are crunchy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Again? Okay, wait. I'm gonna take a carrot, it's gonna be more crunchy. Mm. Actually, I think the apple is most crunchy. The apple? Mm. I'm hungry. Okay, guys, which is your favorite, carrot or apple? How do you get protein? Tofu and beans, absolutely, exactly. I eat a lot of tofu, beans, lentils. Protein bars. I'm very guilty of eating a lot of protein bars, even though it might be less healthy. There's been a lot of speculation about how healthy protein apples. bars are. Apples. Oh, apples, okay. you like apples? Sweet potato, ding. Ding. Wait. Mm. Mm. <gasps> They're almost burned. I like them crispy. You like Ooh, them crispy? Perfect. Perfect? It oh, yeah, smells they like are a little bit burnt. <laughs> it smells like pancakes, honestly. Let's take oh. the last burn. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's super hot. Mm. 
Mm. How are they? Ooh, it's hot. Mm. Next time I have to mm. try cutting them a bit. This is really good. This is so good. Mm. Mm. You should try this. It's really good. Mm. It's like potato chips, but a little bit more mm. healthy. Gonna make fruit salad after this. <laughs> yes, you should. It tastes delicious. And then you can record yourself doing ASMR. It's very fun, mm. actually. Yeah, super, super crispy. It's really, really good. Okay, but guys, this was our cooking show for today. But we also talked about the discarded items, of course, and the ugly foods, the food refurb. So I really hope that you liked it. How was it today, guys? Did Amazing. you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, don't always buy the beautiful... <laughs> Carrots. What did we say? No veggie shaming. No veggie shaming. <laughs> Please remember that. Where's our heart? Our heart potato. And we're always back at 2 p.m. on every Tuesday for a new episode of New Wave Busan. So make sure you tune in and you keep supporting us as we keep supporting the World Expo 2030. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let's eat more. <laughs>